question. Um, whose film is this? Is this my film or is it your film? Uh, don't. I'm pretty sure it's my film. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm the one calling the shots and I say when it's enough and it's a, it's you have no say, right? No, 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 don't cut me off. No. Okay. I'm going to tell you one last thing. Pack up your shit and go home. Come You're on, fired. Mate. You're fired. Oh, I don't want you here. Levitate. Get off my set. Pack up You're and go home. This is ridiculous. Get, this is ridiculous, get, man. Get off my set. This is Francois Colbert. What you are watching is rare film footage of the legendary filmmaker working on set of his latest picture, Ben Huge. So we're gonna get this medium shot right here. We're gonna get Aaron a medium shot, then you're gonna say your line. You want me to say my line right now? When I when I point at you, yeah. Oh, um, hold still, or I'm gonna punch you in the face. Right, you got it. So then we're gonna get that shot. It's gonna go in. We're gonna move everything to the bedroom where you and Michelle are gonna fuck. Sound good? Yeah. Simple enough, guys, let's do it. There is no singular way to describe the porn director. Admirers of his work often have a few common choice words they tend to throw around. Visionary. What I'm picturing is just an ambush of dicks, just all three of them, like a, a trifecta kind of thing. Just a fucking turkey shoot, you know what I mean? Totonistic. We missed out on a lot of the emotion last time. We were too far away. There's a lot of real stuff going on here. Most important thing, shoot the eyes. Let's get the eyes. Let's really capture it. Gary, you good to go once more? Impassioned. Michelle, baby, you're indicating. You're indicating. I can't have that. I need the audience to really believe that you enjoy having his dick in your mouth. Right now, it's coming off as a little phony, and I cannot have that. I, I just can't. Come down with me. I'm gonna show you what I want. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see that? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a tight grip. A like I'm wrestling a snake. Like I'm about to charm. Oh Who loves this? You love it. Look me in the eyes. This dick is your friend. You love this dick. Love the dick, Michelle. Although there's no denying that his methods, as well as his behavior, both on and off the set, have been perceived as controversial and even a tad eccentric, his influence is unquestionable. The films of Francois Colbert are seminal, and to date, no one person has done more to advance pornography as a legitimate art form. In my films, I add context and meaning to the images you're seeing. There's more than just a blowjob in the park that means absolutely nothing. The group of 20-something-year-olds having an orgy scene in the basement is more than just 20-something-year-olds experimenting with sex and drugs. Do you see what I'm saying? It's coming of age, counterculture, it's liberation. The China man in the jungle who's sitting there with his dick up and suddenly a voluptuous blonde American teenager comes in swinging on a vine lands on his dick. Is that just sex or is that commentary on Vietnam? I want to bring it to the mainstream. That's my goal here. I want to raise dicks, raise questions because your head is going to go on a little twist if you're a metaphorical thinker like I am. If I had a dream, that would be it. Bring porn to the mainstream. That's my dream. That's how I want to be remembered. Thanks, Chris. Of course, crispy. Yeah. Okay, and um, do you guys deliver lemons? Uh, okay. Thank you. Yep, yep, you too. Who are you? Yeah. Who, me? No, the other. The... You know? What the fuck you doing here? Uh, you guys said I can make a movie on your Who said set. this? Uh, Carl? Carl. Fucking Carl. Your ass, man? Uh, Ashman. Daniel Ashman. Whatever, kid. I mean, you can't just be walking in here with a camera all willy-nilly. What, your mother didn't teach you how to knock? Sorry, yeah. Uh... You should be sorry, because I'm a private guy. Privacy is something I take very seriously. You know... What if I was in here conducting business? Will you follow me around all day with that thing or what? What's up, man? You gonna be following me around? Or... Uh, yeah, or, I, I, or what? I, I guess. So what kind of movie are you making, man? Oh, you know, just the uh, behind the scenes sort of thing. Yeah, that's cool, man. Just. Remember what I told you about privacy. It's a serious matter. Yeah, sure, sure. Speaking of privacy, you're gonna have to excuse me. I really gotta take a leak.
How you doing, little guy? Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gibbsy, give me the news, man. I just wanted to go over the schedule for today. Uh, so we're doing scene 16, 17. Yeah. Finishing those by 1 o'clock. Uh, then we break for lunch. After lunch, we're reshooting scene 7 with Gary and Michelle. After that, we can start doing those pickup shots you wanted. And then we finish up with the last scene, scene 18. Mm -hmm. No, that scene got cut, didn't it? I thought we had cut the final scene. Well, regardless, we're not going to have time for it. Not today. Find a way, Gibbs. But sir, I don't think we can get everything. You don't think? You don't get paid to think. Gibbs, so find a way. Prince Mom. It's my love, what is it? Which pair do you want me to wear? The red or the black? Which of the two do you think your character would want to wear? The red? But it is, my love. Hey, yeah, Francois, Francois. Ricky. So, uh, the black guy says he's here to play the role of the black guy. You're Leroy Brown? Yes, sir. Is it true what they say? You tell me, buddy. Oh, my God. Um, I've been waiting for this dick for a long time. You have been touched by the hand of God, son. You got the job. Get that all over yourself. Wash that down, man. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my brother. Oh, Anderson. Hot up, boy. I like what I see. Keep this up. Keep it going. I love it. Rock and roll. Mendoza. Talk to me, Monty. Who's the kid? Oh, this? This is Ass Man. Fucker followed me all the way from the washroom. He said he's filming some kind of documentary. Natural Angus Key, kid. You remember that. So anyway, I'm getting some rough shadows over there for the scene with Michelle. Yeah. It might take me a little longer than expected to get that two shot done, but I can still do it if you want. I was thinking, and I, I, I kind of put something together where maybe we could get a POV of Aaron's penis instead. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let me know. You can make it work. Keep it up, Monty. Benji, what are you doing with that accent? You've got to nail it, man. You're the star here, kid. I'm not, I'm not doing an accent. Is it, does it sound like I'm doing an accent? It's, it's almost like an accent. That's the problem. You see what I'm saying? You're the star. You gotta make it real. You really gotta make it seem like, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at her. Yeah. You know what I mean, Eric? No, yeah, I get, I get it. I mean, I'm, I, I, I think. Okay, I'll, I'll say one thing. When, when, when she says that, that, that Mr. Felcher's not here, I feel like, you know, okay, let's take off, you know? Because he's not here. And let's go home, right? Does that make sense? Aaron, there's a script. There's a story. If I, I, Mr. Felcher wasn't here and you were just going to go home, there would be no script. There would be no story. You would go knock on this girl's door and then go home. But there's a script, Aaron. There's a story going yeah. on behind this, and I need to get yeah. that through your head yeah. so you can nail this character that I made you the star of. Because look at that face. You know, you got it all. You got the whole package, kid. You just got to make yeah. it believable. I'm going to nail it. Nail it. I'm going to nail, nail her. her. You... All that. Okay. Everybody ready? <sighs> Action! Look, you said it once, and I will say it again. We have nothing to worry about. Mendoza wants this whole ordeal behind us just as much as we do. Hope you're right, man. Yes? Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name is Benjamin Hughes. This is my partner, Johnny Shaker. What's up? We're looking for your husband, a uh, Mr. Felcher. Could you get him for us, please? Oh, no. I'm sorry. My husband is working late this evening. He won't be home for a while. Really? Shakes, why don't you go wait in the car? Sure thing, Bench. I'll handle this. Mm -hmm. 
May I come in? A lot of actors are getting started out in porn. It's kind of the norm in the acting industry for quality actors. I, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Brando. Marlon Brando? Marlon Brando, absolutely. Brando did porn. The Godfather. The Godfather of Tits and Ass. I see, I see. That's a movie I did. And what does that tell you? Right? Aaron Anderson. Playing the role of Marlon Brando. Being Marlon Brando. Being inside Marlon Brando. It's just a matter of time. So do you have plans for the weekend? Ooh, yeah. 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 Uh, I don't mind this angle right here, Monty. You think we could get a shot from down here? Aaron. Get a rash over there, buddy. I call him regularly. And when he does answer, we talk for sometimes 30, 47 seconds. I don't know. And he's a very busy man. And I ask him questions. Francois, who is my character? He doesn't have time. I know sometimes that the critics come down hard on him. I never understood it. He's a passionate man, and in our society, sometimes passion is considered a negative thing. This is my director. This is my captain. He will steer my ship to any waters he wants. More passion, guys. More passion. Hair is so red. More passion, guys. Yeah, Michelle, you're loving it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah, just like that. Okay, guys, you got it. Mm. You know what to do. Oh, Aaron, you know what to do. Turn her over. Turn her over. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. That's the one. That's the law, baby. Oh, mm. yeah. Give it. Okay, Michelle, uh, how did you uh, come to be in porn movies? Oh, um, well, I was fucking on the reg, so I figured might as well get paid, you know? Um, I had a few girlfriends working in the biz, making loads of cash, so I figured why not? Um, you know, I like money, I like to fuck, where do I sign? <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, your breasts out. You don't like my tit? What? What are you, a faggot? You've also said that you're a strong advocate uh, for women's rights and... Um, do you, can you, can you see this area over here? No, I can't. No? On camera? Yeah, on camera. No. Okay, great. Um, just, just a sec. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh. You want some? As, as, okay. as I was saying, uh, you've also said that you're a strong advocate for women's rights and gender equality, that you refer to yourself as a feminist. Is, is that true or is that a misquote? No, that's... I'm totally feminine, yeah. I, I love my shopping and my makeup. No, 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 sorry, not feminine. No, feminist. Do you consider yourself to be a feminist? Oh, yeah, that too. Could you maybe elaborate on that? I mean, what exactly do you do that makes you a feminist? Oh, well, um, you know, I... I like women, and I've done my fair share of girl-on-girl -girl scenes. Um, that's number one. Um, but that's I think that says a lot. Michelle, do you know what feminism means? Not really. You're not filming this, are you? Uh, no. Good. What's the most annoying thing about Francois Colbert? Uh, well, I've never seen a director so obsessed with such small details. You know, like... Uh, 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 every little thing. 
That's pretty weird. I don't know. Cut! Cut! Gary, you crazy prick. You What's keep wrong? messing up your dialogue, man. What do you mean? Your pussy is so fucking good. Your pussy. That's what you're saying. Isn't that what it is? Do me a favor. Have a look what it says there. That pussy is so fucking good. Yeah, I see the same thing. That pussy. Not your pussy. You're objectifying this girl. You don't see her as the sweet, delicate flower that she is. That's what we're trying to convey here. If you would get on board, it would be nice, Gary. I'll try, yeah. Do you want me to fuck her again? Or what? Yes, Gary, I want you to fuck her again. But this time, say your line properly. That pussy is so fucking good. After that, slap her ass with the right hand, grab the titties with the left. Line, ass with the right, titties with the left. All right, man, whatever you say, let's go. Come on. He has this unique way of blocking and helping the actors get into character. He's also one of the most hands-on directors I've ever worked for. Um, and he also has the biggest cock of any director I've ever worked for. But you and Francois have had sex? Yeah. How do you think I got this part? Because I'm a good actress? Scene 27, Act 3. Production had been running smoothly. Guys, ready to go. Good. Great. Wonderful. Let's get it going, guys. Overall, oh, right my time on the set of Ben Huge was a positive one. No problem. Switch the fuck up. But on this, the last day of principal photography, when emotions were already running high, things were about to take a turn for the worst. Work. This is a set. And I had no idea what was in store for me. Francois. Yeah, Gibbs. What's the problem? We've got a code double D. A, a dick down? Who? Yeah. Gary. Gary! Gary, you in there? Come on out, man. Come on, we gotta shoot the final scene. Stop fooling around, Gary. What? Can we get someone to knock this door down? <sighs> Wait, wait, wait. I got the keys. What do you mean you got the keys? The keys, I got them. What? You've had the keys this entire time. Uh, yeah, I'm the cameraman. What the hell does that mean? We've been waiting out here for five minutes, Monty. Do you want me to open the door? Yes, Monty! Shit. Open the goddamn door! And give me those keys after. You, you, you don't yeah. deserve them, okay? You're off key duty from now on, Monty. supposed to film. Gary can't perform like this. Unless we change the Bukaki scene to two dicks instead of three. No, no, Goose. We do the scene in the backyard at sunset, as scripted. Three dicks. No less, no more. So what do you want to do? One more day of shooting, guys. That's our only choice. We can't come back. The lady whose house this belongs to is returning from Florida tomorrow. Today's our last chance. Oh, damn it. I'm out of ideas. Me too. I've got nothing. Francois. I'll tell you what we're going to do, fellas. Pinch. Dick. A pinch dick? Like you, I had no idea what Mr. Colbert was saying. Is he going to pinch someone's dick? I had time to ask him after filming had wrapped what a pinch dick was. A pinch dick is an old, old porn director's trick. It's, it was first used in the 1950s by Willie Jenkins. So, you know how in baseball there's a pinch hitter, somebody who replaces a hitter at bat who can't hit anymore? Well, pinch dick is basically the same thing. Legend has it that Willie's lead actor was bitten on the fucking penis by a venomous snake. Couldn't do the scene anymore. So what did Willie do? He got the boom operator who was working on the set with him to fill in for his actor. Matched perfectly. Dick worked. The rest, as they say, 
is history. And with that, the search was on. Francois turned to his crew members for a replacement. No, 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 a pinch no, 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 to fill in for Gary. No, 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 okay, right here. It's, okay, okay I'll stand in line, but I'm, I'm not showing anything. Okay. Ricky, hit me with that hammer, man. Francois, man, ever since I joined this shoot, man, this has been my dream. Let me tell you, listen, man, you're not going to be disappointed. Let's see it. What do you mean? It's a good looking dick, Ricky. Well, four or five inches would have done the trick, but. It just, uh, it doesn't cut it. It's a great, you, it's something to be proud of, man. And I appreciate it. I really hey, do. Listen, friends, listen, friends, well, I don't mention, man, it's all right. Monty, <laughs> big hopes for this one. Let's see that pipe. <laughs> all right, man. For real, son? Aww. Finding the elusive pinch stick proved difficult. Okay, With two dicks out of the no. way, all pressure landed on one no, Stephen okay. Gibbs. No, no, no. This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I'm not showing you people my dick. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Really too it's too big. Show it. All right. Um, my dick is, is it's too big. I've seen Gary's dick. It doesn't match. If it doesn't no. match, then we're moving it's on. It's not like Gary, mine. Okay. No, no. You want me to do it? Or you can. No. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. That's what I'll show you. So show me the dick, please. Brace yourselves. Oh, get him, get him. Oh, damn it, Monty, why the hell did you give me the keys? That's what happens when you count on oh, Monty! Oh, Fred, guys, please, 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 no, don't, don't touch me! Girl. Don't touch me! I'll fucking bite you! Oh. I can't pants off! Oh. No, please! No! No! Told you we wouldn't match. Gibbs was not the man for the job. We're just gonna go with plan B. I told you. Plan B? What's plan B? I don't know, Anderson. I'm out of dicks. Production had come to an abrupt halt. None of the dicks fit the bill. And with time a major factor, all hope seemed to have been lost. When suddenly. Ass man. Yes? No, no way. <laughs> Anderson, please shut up. Please. How about it, kid? How about what? You have a big dick? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's pretty good size. You mind if we take a look-see? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here to film, really. Gibbs, get that chin up. Clean up a little bit. Take the kid's camera. Francois, Frans well, I'm not sure, uh, sure about this. There you go, man. You're going to be okay. Okay. G -g Gentle with it. Yeah. Gentle with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. We need you, Daniel. You're our last hope. I'm not. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I'm not comfortable. Let's see it. Don't speak. Display. <laughs> Go on, kid. Look. look. Look at his small hands. I mean, you can tell that he's not really gonna. Got a point, Francois. Whoa. Oh. Shit. Shit. Nice. Okay? Okay. <laughs> right on. Woo! Get this dick in the makeup. Mr. Colbert had found his man. And it was I, Daniel Ashman, who was to provide the pinched dick. Great Though at first I was intimidated. So how long can you last for? I don't know, maybe uh, two minutes. Two minutes? Probably go get a head start. How long can you go for? I'm a fucking stallion. Does that mean like a long time? Or... But I received the support and encouragement I needed from none other than Ricky Schwartz. Hey, you nervous, kid? Mm -mm. A little bit. Hey, you're gonna do just fine. You know why? You've got panache. Once Mr. Colbert was happy with his shot, the stage was set. How are we doing on sound, Ricky? Schwartz? Where's Ricky Schwartz? Rick, would you get the hell out of there? You're in the shot! Oh, I'm sorry, Francois. How we doing on sound, Ricky? That sounds good. All right, boys, you guys ready? Start jerking your dicks. The Bukaki scene went off without a hitch. Three dicks busting on Michelle's face and titties simultaneously. 
Francois Colbert's masterpiece was complete. My chocolate. I've always said that your average day on a porn set could be a lot like shoveling shit up a hill. I mean, it's stinky, it's definitely messy, and sometimes you literally get shit particles all over yourself. But then, there's that time when you actually make it to the top of the hill with everybody who's been through this hard work with you, and you put your shovels down and just enjoy the view. A sweet view from the top of this hill, covered in shit. Look at that. Cheers, guys. Great work. And with those closing remarks, my time spent on the set of Ben Huge was sadly over. I leave with a heavy heart, but I will always have fond memories of the great Francois Colbert, a true initiator, an originator, a porn pioneer. Puisqu'elle a pris la clé des champs dans les champs, laisse-la brouter. Vise un peu ce col du volcan, cette mine d'agneau déroutée. La douleur te va mal au teint. Toi qu'on voyait fier gladiateur, hurler des paillards au matin, la gorge à 100 mégawatts. On finira par terre, rue de l'Ambre, plutôt par terre qu'assis sur ses malheurs. De son funeste téléphone, elle te pilote à loisir. Te voilà piqué dès qu'il sonne, poupée vaudou, bien fakir. Le supplice te donne un drôle d'air.